Hi, this video is about um, OBS. We often face a problem that OBS um, keeps disconnecting and then reconnecting while we are live streaming. How to fix that issue is the subject today and we'll take a look how to do this. The first step that you need to take is get a wired connection from your router to the primary PC from where you're streaming. You need a CAT6 cable. Um, you can easily find that on Amazon or any other websites or you can buy that physically. It's a CAT6 cable that needs to connect from the router to your primary PC. You have a port on your primary PC to connect a CAT6 cable. That's the first thing that needs to happen. The second thing that you need to do is go to the settings of your OBS and you will have this window popping up. Then you go to output. You need to set the bitrate. The bitrate is um, in parallel to the connection of the internet speed. Um, I have a very strong connection of above 100 Mbps, so I have 10,000 Kbps as my bitrate. But this needs to be validated with your connection speed. If you have about 100 Mbps, you can use 10,000. If you have less than 100 Mbps, use about five to 6,000 Kbps. But that's the um, benchmark that you need to follow the second thing that um, the third thing that needs to be taken care of is go to advanced um, on on OBS here and then go down you will have uh, then you will have this particular section where you will see um, uh, the network here you need to bind the IP so if you it is generally on default, but when you uh, click the down arrow, you will find your own IP. Um, I have blurred this area for privacy, but you will find your own IP. And along with that, you will find either Wi-Fi or Ethernet. So you need to, you know, Ethernet is when you have the cable connection. Wi-Fi is when you do not have the cable connection from your PC to the router. So you need to bind this IP, you need to use the cable, that is when it is going to show Ethernet and then your IP, you need to click that and um, click apply. That is what you need to do. The third thing, um, the third thing that needs to be done is you need to go um, to your firewall settings and uh, here you need to find out whether or not you have the OBS included in your allowed apps as uh, um, as one of the apps that is cl uh, cleared by your firewall because that's the that's the thing that will stop OBS running smoothly. So that is something that you need to um, get included here. If you do not see OBS as allowed apps under the Windows firewall, you need to go to change settings and um, then uh, you know include the OBS here. So if you click on change settings, then it'll um, pop up this button of allow another app you need to click that browse and then add obs and the obs um, exe file as uh, at the same time so once you have added that then obs is good to go so that's um, more or less how um, i got myself fixed please let me know if this worked for you thank you so much for your time today